Hello my dear friend, today we are going to discuss about matter. This is part first video. In this video, we will explore about the kinetic molecular theory. So let's warm up your previous knowledge. Please give me the answer of some questions. So first one is that, what are the three states of matter? Yes, definitely solid, liquid and gases. Which state of matter is rigid? And the answer is solid. Which state of matter can flow? Yes, liquid and gases. Can you tell one property that determines the state of matter? Intermolecular force and intermolecular space. So today, we will learn about the state of matter from the different perspectives, that is, how the movement of particles and the state of matter are related. See all this figure, everything which is shown here is a matter car, soap, balloons, balloons in the sense in the, um, the air which are present inside the um, balloons, fog, water, chalk piece, wine, alcohol, chair, table and water vapors all are the matters. What you understand about the intermolecular space and intermolecular force? See these three figures. All the, you know that all the matters are made up of the tiny particles so all particles are connected with each other. See here see here and see here so what you you have to first know about the intermolecular space intermolecular this is see here the space is more see here space is some of the less here there is no space only small space is present here and the intermolecular force here the intermolecular force is large here intermolecular force is continuously uh, decreasing here there is no intermolecular force is there negligible intermolecular force is here so, identify which of this picture represent the arrangement of particles in solid, liquid and gas. This present represent solid, this represent liquid and this represent gas, yes. So, in which state of matter is the intermolecular space is largest? What is the answer? Yes, gases. In the gases, the intermolecular space is larger. In which state of matter are there negligible intermolecular space? Yes, obviously the answer is solid. In which state of matter do the particles move easily? Yes, gases and liquid particles are moves easily. In which state of matter do the particles not move at all? Obviously the solid. Now let's start the kinetic molecular theory of matter. The kinetic molecular theory is a model used to explain difference in properties and behavior of matter. What is kinetic? Kinetic comes from the Greek word it is meaning to move and the kinetic energy is the energy object has due to its motion. All particles that is atom or molecules of a matter are constant in motion. If you see the figure, this is a figure in which the molecules are continuously in the motion, either in the solid state, either in the gaseous state, see here, then in the liquid state movement is larger and in the gaseous state the movement is again larger. So the kinetic theory is a way to describe the motion of the particles, the motion of the particles. In this theory, we have to study about the kinetic theory is nothing but the way to describe the motion of particles. It states that the particles in all form of matter that is a solid, liquid or gas are in the constant motion. Either suppose this is a solid, the vibrating is there. If the liquid, the sliding is there or the gaseous flying around is there. But all the particles in the matter are continuously in the motion. So let's start the assumption or the postulates of the kinetic molecular theory of matter. The first postulate is that the matter is made up of tiny particles called atom and molecules that are held together by intermolecular force of attraction. These forces are strongest in the case of solid followed by the liquid and then gases means in the solid the force of attraction is high then in liquid then in gas means there is a force of attraction is negligible in the gases. So the forces of attraction are weakest in the gases. 
you can see here this is a solid the force of attraction is strong that's why the moment is there is no moment here force of attraction weak here weakest the second assumption is that the particle of particular matter are identical in all respect these are unique for every matter and differ from one type of matter to the another type of matter the particles have some empty spaces between them the more are intermolecular space between the particles of matter the weaker is the intermolecular force of attraction and vice versa means the intermolecular space and intermolecular force are exactly opposite if you see here the force of attraction is less then the space is large see here intermolecular space if the space is more then the force of attraction is weak in the case of solid the force of attraction is strong then space is also less okay so both are correlate to each other the fourth assumption the particles are under constant random motion and as a result possesses kinetic energy the extent of their motion varies from the solids to liquid and then to gases see here solid then liquid and gas means the motion is more motion in the gases then liquid and then solid solid have less solid is less than liquid liquid is less than gas you can say that gases is greater than liquid liquid is greater than solid in the case of kinetic energy motion of the particles in the solid liquid and gases remember this okay you can see here solid then liquid now the liquid and then gases so the motion in the gases is highest the motion of the particle in a state of matter is affected by the change in the temperature the speed and constantly the motion of the particle increase with the rise in temperature and the vice versa see the motion of particle in the state of matter is affected by the change in temperature if the temperature is changed if temperature is increases the motion is also increases the speed and constantly the motion of the particles increases with the rise in temperature if the temperature is increases the motion is also increases so we can say motion is directly proportional to the temperature or temperature is directly proportional to the motion of the particles see here in this figure if the temperature is less the motion now if the temperature is increases motion is increases again temperature is increases the motion is increases the motion of the particles is increases so this is affect the if the temperature is increases the motion also increases the temperature of the substance is a measure of the average kinetic energy of the particles the particles of matter are constantly moving and possesses kinetic energy so on increasing the temperature kinetic energy of the particle of the matter increases on the decreasing the temperature it decreases means if the temperature is increases the kinetic energy also increases if the temperature is decreases kinetic energy also decreases that's why you can say kinetic energy is directly proportional to the temperature you can see here when the energy is added substance is temperature its temperature increases cause the added energy is distributed among the particles and the substance see here energy added so the moment is a change in state of matter occurs when energy of particle is changed substantially since the particles in gaseous state are free to move they tend to undergo collision with one another and also with wall of the container holding to them you can see here these are the gaseous molecules you can say all are collidal with each other as well as they are bombarded at the wall of container also because they are free to move and having a kinetic energy is more due to the small intermolecular spaces solid and liquid states are also known as condensed state of matter liquid and solid these two are also known as condensed state of matter why because 
the small intermolecular space is present in there. Due to their ability to flow, liquid and gases are also known as the flue. Why? Because intermolecular space is large and the ability to flow, liquid and gases can easily flow. That's why liquid and gases are so called as fluids. You can see here molecular arrangements in the three states of matter based on the kinetic molecular theory. Here are the parameters of the solid, liquid and gases. You can see one by one. The first parameter, packing of particles. We have already learned in the solid, the packing of particles are closely packed in an orderly manner. But in the case of liquid, loosely packed in an disorderly manner. In the gases, very loosely packed. Second parameter, intermolecular space. In the solid, the intermolecular space is very less. Liquid, in the case of liquid, more than the solid and in the gases, very high intermolecular space. In the intermolecular space is high means intermolecular fo uh, force is less. Both are inversely proportional to the each other. If the very less intermolecular space means the force of attraction is strong. In the case of liquid, more than that solid is the intermolecular space means the moderate intermolecular force of attraction. Here in the case of gases, intermolecular space is very high means intermolecular force is negligible. So as well as kinetic energy also depend on this, the kinetic energy is low. Why? Because the force of attraction is strong and the space is very less. That's why they cannot flow. That's why the kinetic energy is low. But in the case of liquid, more than that of solid. In the case of gas and high kinetic energy. Why? Because the space is very high and the intermolecular force is negligible. That's why they can flow easily. That's why the kinetic energy is high in the case of gases. The motion of particle. Here same. Motion of particle, if the kinetic energy is low, means the motion of particle is a restricted moment. If the kinetic energy is more than the solid, means moderate, then free random movement with the bulk. In the case of gases, motion of particles, rapid and random movement into available space. In all direction they can move. Liquid, there is limited in within the bulk. Here, a restricted moment, they cannot flow. That's why motion is restricted. Only vibration is here. Here sliding. Here they can free to move in any direction. So this is all about the kinetic molecular theory of matter. Thanks for watching my dear students.